Plot Summary of By the Waters of Babylon by Stephen Vincent Benet By the Waters of Babylon takes place in a post-apocalyptic world without technology, where people hunt for food with bows and arrows and priests look for metal in the dead places. John is the main character and first-person narrator. He is from the Hill People tribe and is the son of a priest. The Hill People think their culture is better than that of their rival tribe, the Forest People. They live by strict rules that forbid them, among other things, from going east, crossing the Odis Sun River, going to the place of the gods, which was burned down in the Great Burning, and even saying the true name of the place of the gods. John's father and the other priests teach John reading, writing, healing, and magic, and John is fascinated by the stories about the gods. In the story, John goes on a journey called an initiation quest to prove to his tribe that he is a man and a priest. John chooses the path of his journey based on visions and his reading of signs in the natural world. John breaks many of his tribe's rules because he wants to learn more. Even though he's afraid he'll die there, he goes to the place of the gods. Instead, he finds out that many of the stories about the place of the gods are not true. There are no magical mists on the island, and the ground is not on fire forever. There are also no ghosts or demons living there. Instead, John comes across the huge dead place, which is a city of broken towers. John's fear of the city goes away as he learns more and more about it. John explores an abandoned apartment full of items that he believes are magic but which are recognizable to the reader as defunct modern appliances, a sink, a stove, and electric lights. John stays there for the night and has a vision of what the city looked like when the gods lived there. Once upon a time, the city was full of gods, lights, and magic, and John knows that the gods had a lot of knowledge and power that they didn't always use well. John sees that the city was destroyed by poisoned mist and fire falling out of the sky during a terrible war between gods. He also knows that this war is what made the other dead places. The next morning, John looks around his apartment, hoping to find out why the city was destroyed. He finds the dead god's body, but soon realizes that it is not a god but a man. John figures out that the gods were actually people from an earlier time, and he goes back to his tribe fearless and ready to share what he has learned. When John comes home, his father sees that he is a man and a priest. John tells his father that the gods were not gods, and asks him to kill him as punishment for breaking the laws of the tribe. John's father says no, saying that the rules change from generation to generation. He also tells John not to tell the other people in the tribe about his discovery, saying that it can be dangerous for a society to learn too much too quickly and that he thinks this is what happened to the gods. John agrees, but he and the other priests start going to the dead places to find metal and books, which gives them knowledge. In the last few lines of the story, John promises that when he becomes the tribe's head priest, he will lead his people to the place of the gods, which he now calls New York, and start to rebuild the city. About the author. Benet's father was an officer in the U.S. military who loved reading and writing. Benet spent most of his childhood moving from army base to army base. Both of his older siblings were also writers. As a 17-year-old freshman at Yale University, he put out his first book of poems. During World War I, Benet left college for a year of civilian military service, but eventually returned to Yale to earn both a BA and an MA in English. In 1920, he went to Paris, where he met Rosemary Carr, who would become his wife. In 1925, the couple moved back to Paris. A prolific writer across many genres, Benet is best known for his poetry, novels, and short stories, but he also wrote screenplays, radio broadcasts, and even an opera libretto. Benet's writing is often about history and folklore. The Devil and Daniel Webster, 1937, a short story, and John Brown's Body, 1928, an epic poem, are two of his best-known works. Benet died in New York at the age of 44 after having a heart attack. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.